Mario. Hello everybody, this is your one really beloved officer 77 and in today's video guys, we're going to be taking a look at something really really cool for MC. So without further ado, let's just get started from the video. So guys, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at another shader pack for MCB. So if you guys don't know what this shader pack is, it actually goes by the name of YSPE Shader. So yeah guys, let's just get started start from the video. So guys, before we do start this video, let's see if we can hit an amazing like goal of 69 likes on this video guys. If we can hit 69 likes on this video, that honestly means the world to me. So let's definitely try and smash that like button guys. Also guys, if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't even subscribed, come on man, what are you doing with your life? You gotta subscribe to the channel for some epic amazing banger content i promise you guys will not regret it whatsoever with that being said without further ado let's just get started straight up and the video all right so you guys can see in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the ysp shaders and so far you guys can see this is how the shader does look pretty pretty cool stuff um yeah man i have honestly nothing else to say for the shader honestly guys it's a pretty cool shader if i do say so myself now i'm gonna let you guys know right now this should be a little bit more optimized for those of you guys who do have low-end devices but of course that there are going to be a few trade backs with this shader the water isn't as realistic as what you would typically expect however the water is somewhat realistic you guys can see we do have some waves and stuff here and there in the water the water does look pretty cool if i do say so myself it's something unique i haven't really seen in any other shaders to be honest but yeah man i mean me personally i like a lot of the other shitter waters more than this one um but yeah man i mean this one's not bad to be honest but yeah guys if you guys wanted a little bit something uh especially when it comes to the water for a shitter then this is a shitter for pack for you guys i know a lot of you guys opt for more of the realistic water uh that are that is in like tsp shitters and stuff like that but as you guys know that is just absolutely laggy and that's just gonna absolutely drain um you know your battery and all that stuff it's just going to cause a lot of problems so yeah guys this is a lot more better alternative for you guys that do have low-end devices so yeah guys let's just get started straight up in the video so guys so far the first thing you guys can see is other than the water you guys can see actually if we go inside the water you guys can see we don't get that waviness effect though we do get a little bit of a uh that uh i don't know i don't know what it's called but you y'all know what i mean like whenever you go inside a swimming pool you guys will see kind of the like i don't know it it, it I, I don't know how to explain i don't know what it's called but hopefully you guys are kind of understanding without with uh able to understand what i'm kind of trying to say uh but yeah man other than that there's nothing really anything new with the water and i'm not entirely sure if it does wave up and down but the water is animated overall and it is something different it's not just stale like uh, a lot of the newer shader packs for low-end devices are so you do get something with this low-end shader pack which is something i do like um yeah man and then when you whenever the sky is also something i did like about the shader the sky actually looks pretty cool if i do say so myself it's not the best sky uh, but it is, it is definitely something and honestly props to the creator for definitely coding this it honestly looks really good um but yeah man me personally i don't find this to be my favorite uh you know favorite sky out of all the other shaders as you guys know there's so many shaders right now in minecraft especially in minecraft bedrock edition so it's really hard to compete with other shaders but i definitely recommend that you guys do give this out a try but yeah man i have honestly nothing else to say about the shader also guys if you guys do set the time to sunset you guys can see that is probably even one of my favorite parts of the shader actually there is just something absolutely beautiful about it as you guys can see whenever you look at the sun everything the whole sky is actually orange which is pretty pretty cool stuff and actually if you do kind of turn away you will see it's a little bit dark and then uh you guys can actually see the moon rising and stuff so it's pretty pretty cool but the majority of the sky is orange i don't know i just figured that's a really cool feature i'm not sure how these uh shader developers do that and stuff but yeah man um but also guys whenever you do set the time to night as you guys can see we do get a little bit of a nicer night uh my only complaint with it is i don't feel like it's as dark enough and it kind of takes away from the immersion but then again that's a really dumb thing to complain about honestly the nighttime does look good in the shader so i really have nothing to complain about when it comes to nighttime uh like i said it's not my favorite there's a lot of things in the shader that's not my favorite and i know i'm being a little bit harsh on this shader i do apologize to the dev especially since the dev is actually the one that actually put in so much hard work into this shaders and here i am just criticizing it so i do apologize uh hopefully y'all can't like hopefully no heart feelings or anything like that um uh, but yeah man there's just so many shaders in the minecraft community that are just so hard to compete with um but yeah man this is still a really good shader y'all should definitely go try this out um but yeah man my main complaint also guys actually before i do get on the complaint also the weather as you guys know is uh pretty uh standard i mean at least we do get something uh, you guys can see the clouds do kind of become a little bit darker and stuff but everything other than that is pretty much the same uh whenever you do my only complaint is whenever you do go in the nether 
for whatever reason, the light the lighting is working and stuff, so the nether is actually playable, which is good. But my only complaint about being in the nether with this particular shader pack is for whatever reason you I don't know, like the sky or like the distance. The distance haze, as you guys know, the distance haze in the Minecraft overworld is actually blue. However, whenever you go in the nether, the Minecraft distance haze is red. And then whenever you go in the end, the distance haze is black or purple. So yeah, in the nether, in this shader pack, for whatever reason, the distance ha haze has actually been changed to uh, blue, which I have no idea why. I'm not sure if it was changed intentionally or unintentionally, but I don't know. I just feel like it kind of takes away from the nether feel. I know there's other biomes in the nether, like the Soul Sand Valley and the Warp Malium Forest or something like that, and those have a uh, blue distance haze. Those are just kind of weird in my opinion. Um, those don't fit the nether either, but at least in my opinion. Um, I mean, they're not bad biomes, but yeah, man, those are individual biomes, but like this one and the default Minecraft nether biome, uh, which is the nether wasteland. I just don't like that. I know it might not sound like a big deal. It really isn't a big deal. Um, but I mean, if you guys are someone like me that actually goes to the nether a lot and kind of want to have that nether-ish feel, then I mean, that's my only pet peeve with the shader. But other than that, I have honestly nothing else to say. I just want to make a quick video showcasing a shader pack for you guys. I haven't done this in quite a while. That's why. So I do apologize for being a little bit inconsistent on my shader videos. Um, but yeah, man, I just want to get a, a video out uh, really quick and then yeah guys That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video I want to thank each one of you guys for watching and I will see you later guys. Peace out guys. See you. Bye. Bye